Hey everybody, this is Mike with Free Roaming Photography, and today I'm discussing what makes Grizzly Bear 399 so famous. I'm going to be discussing her backstory and what brought her so much fame, but first I want to remind you that I do offer private photography workshops and tours in both Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks. So if you'd like a chance to see this bear or any other animal and the landscapes that they call home, I've got the link for more information posted in the description below. So who is Grizzly Bear 399? She is a grizzly bear that primarily resides within Grand Teton National Park. Every now and then she'll go outside of the boundaries into the national forest or a nearby area in search of other food. But for the most part, she can be seen within Grand Teton National Park. She was trapped and then tagged by the Grizzly Bear Interagency Committee back in the early 2000s and she was arbitrarily given the number 399, and so that's where that number comes from. As such, this became her identity. Shortly after, she began to gain a little bit of local notoriety as she was frequently seen along the roadsides. The reason for this, from her perspective, was for safety. In the wild, male bears will try to kill the cubs if they see them, which causes the female to go back into heat. This way, that bear gets to pass on its genes rather than the other bears. Yes, it is pretty rough, but that's just the way bears evolved. Since the average grizzly bear doesn't want anything to do with commotion or noise, 399 noticed that if she kept her cubs by the roadsides, at least within a certain distance, half a mile or a mile or so, the cubs were more likely to live, which for the most part is exactly what's happened ever since. In 2008, she kicked out her three cubs at the time, one of which would later be tagged 610. While many cubs seek out new territory and habitat, 610 repeated a lot of her mother's patterns, occupying a lot of the same habitat and territory. Over the next five years, both bears' fame would explode. In 2011, both 399 and her daughter 610 emerged in the spring with Cubs of the Year, aka newborns. 610 had two, while 399 had three. Immediately, each were getting international press, showcasing how Grand Teton National Park was the place to see wild bears with their cubs in the wild, not through a scope across a valley, but right next to the roads. With attention on the rise, one morning early in the summer of 2011, 399 emerged with one less cub. The onlookers and followers quickly began speculating about worst case scenarios. Except a few hours later, 610 then emerged with one extra cub. The adoration for the bear family only grew after witnessing such an event as word quickly spread across the still young social media platforms. And then their fame only continued to grow as the cubs grew up and they even had more cubs. With bear watching becoming a more commonplace activity in Grand Teton National Park, a branch of rangers was created called the Wildlife Brigade. Their job wasn't designed to keep the wildlife safe, but rather the onlookers, since it was clear that they couldn't be trusted around the bears unsupervised. In the following years, visitation records were consistently broken as word spread of 399's fame. Millions came to the park each year in the hopes of seeing the famous 399 or even her daughter 610. What was frequently considered a quiet off-season void of visitors was now a prime time to see these wild bears in action. With the average lifespan of a wild grizzly bear being about 20 years old, 399 as of this recording is a whopping 26 years old. What's more impressive is that as many were speculating her mating days were up, she emerged from her den in 2020 with an unprecedented four cubs. Bears rarely have four cubs in the wild, and what's more rare is for them all to survive. And yet, against all odds, she successfully raised them all before kicking them out to live on their own. Despite long-term cries from locals otherwise, the town of Jackson nor the county of Teton County were still not bear-proof. There was never a mandate to have things such as bear-proof trash cans, despite not only 399's rising fame, but also numerous other black and grizzly bears wandering the forest just outside of Jackson. This all changed in the fall of 2021 when all five bears were spotted in downtown Jackson searching for food. Sadly, the bears did get a few food rewards in people's trash as well as other forms of food not properly contained, but the good side is that this did prompt town to act quickly. By next summer, proper food storage was mandated throughout the area but not before the spring of 2022 when 
399 made another pass with her cubs through rural neighborhoods. Fortunately, by then, word had spread enough, and the bears returned to the wild without any food rewards. With her age reaching elderly status for a bear, it remains to be seen what the spring of 2023 will bring. But if there's one thing that's consistent about 399, it's that she is full of surprises. In addition, she's already impacted Grand Teton National Park and the Valley of Jackson Hole in profound ways. Thanks to her yearly spring appearances, she's brought both tourism dollars and increasing job opportunities for locals at a time when the area was previously empty. She's not only raised awareness for wildlife in general, but also for grizzly bear advocacy and has become a symbol of conservation and endangered species protection. She forced Jackson and Teton County to become much more bear aware by bear proofing trash and other attractants. She's inspired countless artists and photographers, myself included, and one tourist at a time, she's inspired people from all over the world, not only about how important our wild places are, but also the animals that inhabit them. Sitting on top of the food chain with wolves, she helps keep a small corner of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem in balance and thriving, allowing people on any given day to observe her behavior. So as of this recording, this is the legacy of Grizzly Bear 399. Each spring, a new chapter for her is begun with everyone waiting to see how much longer her story goes and how much more inspiration she'll bring to the community around her and the world at large. So if you would like a chance to see her or her daughter or really any bear or landscape around here, just a quick reminder that I do offer private photography workshops and photo tours year round. The link for that is in the description again. And I'm happy to instruct you as much or as little as you'd like. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and happy trails.